Look guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Project Restoration for the 3DS. And as you can see here, some quality of life changes for the game. So first, you need the 3DS and it needs to be modded. And then download this file. Open it up. And you can see three files. What you need is, if you have the original game that's not updated, use version 100. If it's updated, use version 100. So, um, this is with the game card. So, version 110 is if you have the physical card with the update. Um, it's pre-installed. So, for me, I'm going to be using version 100. So what we downloaded is here, version 100, it says open up the 3DS folder. Yes. Okay, that is open. Now we have to go to our 3DS SD card, which I already have plugged in. Right here. So here's our root of our SD card with 3DS. It says create this directory on the SD card. So Luma slash titles slash the title ID. So the title ID is here. I have the American version, so I'm going to copy and paste this. So make a Luma file. Uh, I already have a Luma. If you don't, just make a new folder. Call it Luma. But I already have one, so no more. Now it says make a folder called titles. Okay, open that up. Now make a new folder with your directory of title ID. So this title ID, the one we copied, and then like that. It has an American version, so it's that version. And then open it up. Now that you're here, you're going to go back to the files you downloaded and it says code dps and xheader.bin. So here's xheader.bin and then code dps. Okay, we could close this. So let's look at what we did. So the root of the SD card with 3ds. Open Luma. Make a Luma if you don't have one. Make a titles. Copy and paste the new title ID that is here for the American version. If you have the European, it's there. Japanese, it's there. And then open that up and copy these two files. In. So now that that's there, we can close this and I'll meet you at the video session. Okay, so to finish it off, we put the SD card back in. And then we power it on, but we hold select while we hold the power button. And it brings us to Luma 3DS menu. What you want to do is scroll down one, and it'll bring you to enable game patching. I already turned it on. Let me turn it off again. That's what it should look like. Press A to turn that on. All right, so now you scroll back down, save and exit, press A. Okay, should turn on. Okay, it's on. I'm at the 3DS menu. Let's load up Majora's Mask. And the way that you know it works is it should make a chime once you load into that. Right about now. There you go. Make the sound. Okay. 
Let's see if it works. Um, one of the things that it says here is, um, like stuck link water hopping. So we should be able to see that and transfer using a D-pad. So right now I only have the Deco mask, so I'll use a D-pad. Um, let me show you. So my items, <laughs> nothing. Okay, the mask, I only have the Deco mask. But it is equipped to number, it's not equipped, let me equip it. Okay, it's equipped to two. But, let's see. Okay, it works like that, right? Now let's take it off. Okay, so I'm gonna press the D-pad down, like it says here, fast transform, D-pad down. And it works, okay, perfect. Okay, now let's test out the water thing. Um, does this work? No. It should be over here. Or is it this way? Okay, let's test it out. Okay, I drowned. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.